mystical light beings and welcome to Lena Mystic where we embrace our spiritual awakenings by identifying our personal power and authentic selves. If you'd like to become a part of this tribe, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment down below and also click that bell that's below so that you can be the first to know about any up and coming episodes. If you have any interesting stories or questions that other people can relate to that watch this channel, go ahead and send them to letters to lenamystic at gmail.com. That's letters, the number two, lenamystic at gmail.com. This video is reasons why you see the number 222. Synchronicity is just putting you in alignment, okay? Let's get into those reasons though. The first reason is this is a reminder to trust your guides, your angels, the divine guides. It's telling you to work on your faith. You've been working so hard on your goals and everything. It's time to also work on your faith. Number two is to continue to manifest. Bring those manifestations to reality by, once again, working on your faith, guys. The reason why it's so important to continue manifesting is because the divine is working behind the scenes for you, okay? So trust in that. Number three is all about duality and balance. The number two is literally about duality and balance. You got one hand over here and then you got one hand over here, okay? Put those hands together and balance your life the way that you need and you desire. Number four is to be in harmony with yourself. This may include mindfulness, meditation, or whatever just brings you back to yourself and back to connecting with your spirit. It's also a reminder that you are working with spirit in the divine. So keep that in mind. Know that they are working for you as well, okay? They're not working against you. They're working for you. So be cautious of that and know that you can ask the divine for anything that you desire. Number five, this is reason number five, guys. It is saying to consider the relationships in your life. How are you handling them? How is this relationship affecting you? This is friendships, um, parent to child relationships, like every relationship that you have in your life. How is it affecting you? Ask yourself those questions so that you can figure out what you can do to do better in the relationship and what you're expecting from the other person as well. And this includes passion relationships as well guys it's very important that we see if these relationships in our life are hiring our vibrations or lowering them keep in mind that this message is also for couples and it says to work together it's so important to work together as a couple guys this will help you find your balance and your peace as a couple remember that it is you two against the problem it is not you against the other person okay it's you two against the problem 222 two, two gives the energy of six which brings me to the sixth reason why you see the number 222 two, two, and it says it is all about family family life friendship you know it's time for you to balance work life and home life and to balance these relationships so maybe if you're giving too much time to this low vibrational relationship maybe you should focus more on these high vibrational relationships Number seven is to begin balancing yourself more, guys. Balance is so important. The energy of two is all about balance. I know we said this earlier in the video, but it's definitely saying to balance yourself. This could be through mindfulness, like I said earlier. This could be through meditation. It could be taking a walk. But you need to figure out what hires your vibes and makes you feel more balanced. And then participate in that every single day. There's no reason not to do it if you know that it brings you peace and harmony. Number eight is to work on your goals and your aspirations so that you can bring a natural balance to your life. If you enjoy painting, then do it every day. Do it as many times as you can so that you can find harmony within yourself. Do that thing that you just love. If it's dancing, just do it. Go out there and do it, okay? There's no reason why you shouldn't be if you know it brings you joy and happiness. Number nine is that confirmation that your blessings are coming into your reality. Once again, remain your faith and feel that gratitude that your dreams are your reality now. You must feel that gratitude and be grateful for everything that you already have because those blessings are coming, okay? They are coming. You must trust it and you must know that it is already yours. Number 10 is saying that it is time to forgive. Forgive yourself, forgive others so that you can move on to this next beautiful, wonderful phase of your life. Do that shadow work, enter into yourself, and figure out where you want to be and what you want to let go of because you are entering this new amazing reality that is just 
so filled with blessings and abundance of happiness and joy. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. And I will see you in another video. See ya!